Someone asked me to balance this equation, so let's give it a try. First, let's count the atoms up on each side. So I have one calcium here, and then we're going to use a trick to make this easier, and you can use this with double displacement reactions. We have a sulfate here, and then we have it again here. So I'm just going to count that as one thing. So I have one sulfate ion here, one aluminum, three bromine atoms. Product side, we have the one calcium. We have our sulfate times three. So we're going to have three sulfate ions, two aluminums, and two bromines. So this is a lot neater. You'll get the same answer either way. This is just a lot faster. Why don't we balance the sulfates? Because we could just put a three in front of the calcium sulfate. One times three, that gives us three calciums, but we have our sulfate here, one times three. Now we have the sulfates balanced. If we put a three in front of the calcium bromide, one times three, that would balance the calcium atoms. Then this two times three, that'll give us six. But if we put a two here in front of the aluminum bromide, one times two, that balances the aluminums. And then three times two, that'll give us six bromine atoms. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's real helpful if you see a sulfate here and here, and you have the polyatomic ions on both sides, just count it as one thing. That'll make the balancing go a lot quicker. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaSO4 plus AlBr3, calcium sulfate plus aluminum bromide. Thanks for watching.